now it appears version 0305 so by previous tests it appears that if you leave the Anycubic Photon M3 Max turned off for a long time, say a week, and then you turn it back on and then you run a print, even though you have the, the values profile set up, it seems to forget it. Now let's see if it continues to layer one. So the first layer should be around 25 seconds. But what happens is, like I mentioned, if it's turned off for around a week, the settings will reset and the retract, lift, retract, all those settings are defaulted to zero on any cubic Photon M3 Max for some reason. But let's give it a few seconds. Let's see if it lifts up. Okay, so I think it's reset to its defaults again, and we can check that by going into the settings during the print. So don't cancel the print. Like, I believe it's going to be stuck on zero layers for a while now, unless you go on settings, and then you check the settings here. So go down. And have a look at this. Bottom one, rising height. Zero, zero, zero. Ignore that. The touch screen is. Oh, it is rising. I hate this touch screen. Normal one rising, zero. Normal one, normal one. So those are all on zeros. Then it should not be on zero, otherwise, it won't continue to print. But let's see. So it hasn't retracted. Bottom one rising height. So they, they not, should not be on zeros. So let's match no the height. Let's match this speed, rising speed. Bottom zero retract speed. Bottom one re rising speed. No, retract speed. So that should match that three. Delete, delete, free. And let's match the other settings. So what are we missing? We're missing rising height. Do we have reference? Rising height, 10 mil. What's in zero rising height? Rising height. So it's 10 mil, right? Rising height, 10. Not 100. I hate this touch screen. Rising speed. Rising speed, free mill, free. So it still hasn't completed the first layer. But give it time, it will, after all these settings are re put in. Rising height, what was it? Rising height, 10 mil. 10. Enter. Nope, it decided to cancel it for some reason. 10. 10. Rising speed. What's rising speed again? Rising speed. Free. Retract speed. What's retract speed? Free. Like, where did you even get 5 from? Retract speed. Free. There we go. So now, if you give it a while, 
it will resume this because currently what it's doing is it's staying on that zero speed so if you just give it a minute and let that zero speed finish it will resume with the settings that we entered and these settings never stick so I don't know like if I don't know if this is like a, a PC with a motherboard for example if it has a CMOS battery and maybe the battery is dead which is not letting the settings stick but it will update so it's still on zero is it lowering? still not lowering so it's currently basically in a detracted sta uh, state I'm going to consider recording just to prove my point that once you enter those settings it will continue to print but I hope you get what I mean like uh, it was it was not doing anything it's in a ret retracted state because all those settings were on zeros so let's keep going zero layers so remember it did expose one layer one bottom layer but it just hasn't finished it because it needs to detract it which kinda is very annoying if you want to do another print on top or a continual print because you think you already have an exposed layer so you would have to expose the whole screen and restart it fresh which is very annoying so let's see how long this actually takes for the first layer to finish with the any pu any cubic photon m3 max doing this whole issue uh, maybe there is a firmware upgrade that gets, resolves these issues also you saw at the beginning of the video the USB flash drive wasn't being detected until I rebooted the printer it wasn't a physical connection and this is a high quality USB this is a sand disk I believe it's a sand disk uh, cruiser blade it's not like a cheap shit it's, it's a good one so you shouldn't be doing that anyway I'm just babbling on now because I want to make this video not so boring whilst you wait for this layer, one single layer to finish but once it does the speed will go back to normal doing its own thing and also I copied the numbers, the values to other settings because that's the way I like it I don't like uh, having transition layers because um, I don't know the values very well if they're doing the correct thing or not so I just like to stick to one value because they did work for me, so I'm not messing around with that. Come on, detract. What I usually do is after I um, enter these values, I just leave the room and just let it do its thing because I know it's going to resume. But this time I want to prevail and um, watch it. Because you guys need to see this. It is a bit disappointing that this printer is, is so feels so unfinished. I mean, the hardware feels great. Besides the initial setup, if you saw my initial video with um, poor assembly, with the although it states that it comes with a pre-installed uh, screen protector, it does not. And uh, insulation tape that was applied to the edges of it wasn't properly installed either. So when I did eventually get an FEP sheet tear, the resin leaked onto the screen down into the sides of the screen, which was not fun because I had to replace the whole screen, which took me a whole day. And I made a video for you guys, which I, I know some of you found very useful. So that's great. But yeah, that needed to be addressed because that's not that wasn't good. Still on layer zero. Come on. I am waiting. I guess in the meantime we can check our settings that we did enter the values as I meant. That looks good. Let's push it off. Bottom layer. Transition layer zero, yep. Basically, you want to make sure that there's no zeros here, otherwise, it won't continue to print. Yeah, it looks correct. And you know what I don't like? That the back button is right next to the cross. So if you touch it too long, it'll cancel the print. 
I really was wish there was like a thing called like an octo print for resin printers, because for these two printers that'd be great. Ignore the dust. Yes, I know it's dusting, but I do not like this at all. Come on. It's been nearly 11 minutes since I started this video and it still hasn't resumed. But I promise you it will resume once that one layer is done. <sighs> there we go, finally. So now it's going down. That layer is going to get exposed. There we go. Now we're onto one there. So now it's going to take around 30 seconds. And I start the countdown. So just look at the timer. We've got around 25 seconds left. And it's going to rise. So let's just keep it here. We've got around 10 seconds, I think, until it's going to start rising. And around now. 5, 4, 3, 2, one rise come on around now maybe five seconds I count the wrong okay it's been a four around 40 seconds so why is it not rising it should that was supposed to be set to around 25 seconds for the first bottom layer but it's not. There we go. But you see what I mean? Now it's re rising and retracting. But I feel, I feel like my settings are not being honored. The bottom first layer exposure is around 25 seconds. And I feel like it's almost double the time of that. So why is that? We are on to layer 2 now, by the way. I just want it for it to complete. Just yes, so I can show you that we are out of that loop. But yeah, the bottom layer is doing much longer than it's actually intended. The bottom layer was supposed to be doing 25 seconds. I do have light off delay, but it's only supposed to be lasting for 2 seconds. So layer three starting now. So it's zero five seconds. And let's see when it finishes this layer. Because as long as this is displaying white light, that means it's UV it's doing the UV curing. So it's exposing ultraviolet light. It's been fifteen seconds. And now 25, so now it should turn off, but it's not turning off, it's just doing the same thing. It's been 35 seconds, is that 35? Yeah, it's 35 seconds. It's just not honoring my settings. I'm using Cheetah Box version 2. I mean, the prints are coming out great. I am having slight issues with them. There's inconsistencies with the transition layer, which is why I turned the transition layers off. But I mean, this is 45 seconds now. Or is that 55? Now it's been a minute for one layer. Yeah, that's, that's a minute. A whole minute for one layer. But as long as it's printing, I'm fine. But it shouldn't be doing that. Why is it not honoring my settings? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that gives you some hope in case you are stuck on layer zero because that is where the problem is coming from i think it's like maybe a cmos battery thing if a, there's a motherboard in there which i assume there is but i don't know if that is the same kind of uh, 
problem is relevant to this. But yeah, guys, if you're having trouble with the NQ bug, I've got quite a few videos on that. So check them out. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm going to let this run now.